Ah, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, moon ship and uh, done and done and uh, last I left off, I want to show the lights before uh, I just barely got them twisty tied on. You might be able to see the engine, uh, an orange LED. I added that and then if I don't, if I don't break the connection, you might be able to see it. You might not. Uh, the uh, back panel. You see where the uh, lit up back there. I just drilled the tiny holes, make it look like there was uh, something going on in the back. And that's pretty much it on the lights. Just basically two lights, uh, one shooting up against the uh, wall, and one coming out the uh, back of the ship. Which I thought, uh, yeah, I just gave it a little something different, different. You know, everyone else's, you know, may have uh, different lights. You know, may not. And I barely twisted these on, so I will take them off. Now, I now when I do lights on models, I always take the uh, connector part off. Everything I usually build is a 9-volt, so uh, if you ever receive a kit of mine, uh, you know, without any wires, it is 9-volt. Uh, so usually that's... Uh, there's one thing I am uh, I'm pretty much done. i got to seal it with a uh, matte varnish, which is uh, not that one. Well, it looks like that, but... It says matte. Uh, I want to spray it and tone it down and then uh, I'm going to go back in with just a little bit with the airbrush and uh, I did some shading on it. You might be able to see it. Uh, that's the way I like to do uh, almost a silver or a metallic. Uh, just the different types of uh, uh, nah, shading. That. Now mine's not like pinpoint. You know I've seen people take a uh, Mr. Airbrush, and you know, and I mean, it's you know, fine line, everything. I, I kind of feather mine. Uh, again, I think it looks more realistic to me instead of being you know, pinpoint accurate. Uh, the decals, decals going great. They were uh, Atlantis. I think does them right. They very little solution, and they snuggled down uh, really, uh, really well. So uh, other than that, I peeled off the uh, mask, and uh, man. It, Good to go. Again, a couple more washes on the uh, bottom here. You know, nothing. Uh, trying not to overdo it, you know, but trying to keep it. Uh, trying to keep it simple as, you know, like it was when it came out in you know 1959, 60s. Just a uh, you know a simple build. And uh, very fun. I do like the design. I think it's pretty darn slick. Uh, but anyway, other than that, uh, done and done. Uh, one thing. Uh, Oh yeah, I forgot the base. Uh, I was going to paint the base a different color, but I kept trying to find a kind of a copperish color, and I really couldn't find one that I liked, so I just went ahead and sprayed it black, uh, did the moon uh, gray, and uh, dry brushed uh, the outer tips of it, but other than that. Now, someone's going to ask me uh, decals. I know people like to look on the workbenches. Uh, setting solution. Uh, and again, I've said it many times, I do the Vallejo system. Now, you can do these three, which is gloss, decal fix, decal softener. You can do that in Vallejo. You can do it in AK and Ammo MIG. Pick your flavor. Uh, but this is the uh, best way to do it, I think. Uh, gloss down. You want your uh, decal shiny, shiny. Uh, decal uh, fix is basically a glue. Sometimes you need that. Sometimes you don't. That's kind of a... And I wrote it on the bottles. That's uh, step two. Uh, of course, I didn't write it on that one. Uh, that would be number one with the gloss. And then the decal softener is three. Now, these two, the uh, fix and the softener, you can sometimes you need the glue. Uh, sometimes you just need the softener. It just depends. Uh, softener kind of, I think, dries it out quicker. Uh, but uh, the other than that, uh, any flavor, you know, ammo, uh, AK same method I used to do uh, and I've mentioned it for I don't want to dig it out but for the gloss uh, Vallejo, not Vallejo, uh, Future I used to use that but uh, here lately their gloss I think is really shiny especially theirs ammo migs and AK's is number three in my book but uh, nice gloss uh, finish and uh, your decal slides on uh, really really well uh, but anyway, that's what I got going on today. I uh, finished up the moon ship, and uh, we're going to probably start uh, another figure 
after one more vehicle. And I want to do I want to do the uh, Camaro from the Mask uh, cartoon, the Thunderhawk. And uh, just a sneak peek, I've already started chipping away at it. Uh, I already cut the doors out. So anyway, and there uh, the doors are like suicide doors come up. So you know because it flies. But anyway, that is where I am on that, and I'll uh, we'll talk about that in the next uh, video. So that's what I got going on today. So stay tuned for the next exciting uh, episode.